Hello and welcome back to the channel. If you're pregnant or know someone who is, you've probably heard them. The endless list of signs that supposedly predict whether you're having a baby boy or a baby girl. Oh, you're carrying low, it must be a boy, or craving pickles, definitely a boy. It's a fun part of the pregnancy journey for many, but how much truth is actually behind these old wives' tales? Today we're tackling the big ones, specifically 25 common signs people swear mean you're having a boy. We're going to look at each one and, using science and logic, debunk these popular myths. So grab your water, get comfortable, and let's separate pregnancy fact from fiction. All right, let's start with some of the most visible signs people talk about, how you look and carry the baby. Myth one, carrying low. This is classic. The idea is boys are carried lower, girls higher. Truth, how you carry depends entirely on your muscle tone, uterine shape, baby's position, and previous pregnancies, not the baby's gender. Myth two, the basketball bump. Some say a neat round bump that sticks straight out means boy, while a wider bump means girl. Truth. Again, this is about your body structure and how the baby is positioned. Myth three, the pregnancy glow or lack thereof. The saying goes, girls steal your beauty, implying boys give you that radiant glow, clearer skin and luscious hair. Truth. Hormonal fluctuations affect everyone differently. Some women glow regardless of gender, others experience acne or skin changes with both boys and girls. It's all about your body's reaction to hormones like estrogen and progesterone. Myth 4. Faster hair and nail growth. Supposedly, boy hormones make your hair and nails grow like weeds. Truth. Pregnancy hormones in general can boost hair and nail growth for many women, regardless of the baby's sex. Myth 5. Cold feet. Literally. Some believe constantly cold feet are a sign of a boy. Truth, changes in circulation and metabolism during pregnancy can affect body temperature regulation, but it's not gender specific. Next up, how you feel. Those pregnancy symptoms can be intense, and myths abound here too. Myth 6. Less morning sickness, a very common one. If you escape severe morning sickness, it must be a boy. Truth. The severity of morning sickness varies wildly and is linked to HCG hormone levels and individual sensitivity, not the baby's gender. Plenty of mums of boys have terrible sickness, and vice versa. Myth 7. Fetal heart rate. The tale says a heart rate below 140 beats per minute, BPM, indicates a boy above 140 means a girl. Truth. Numerous studies have debunked this. A baby's heart rate fluctuates based on age and activity level, typically ranging from 110 to 160 beats per minute, with no correlation to sex. Myth 8. Clumsiness. Are you dropping things more often? Some say that's a boy sign. Truth. Pregnancy can bring on clumsiness due to shifts in your center of gravity, hormonal changes affecting joints, relaxing, fatigue, and swelling. It happens to many, regardless of gender. Myth 9. Headaches. More frequent headaches supposedly point to a boy. Truth, headaches are common in early pregnancy due to hormonal shifts, changes in blood volume, dehydration, or stress, none of which are linked to the baby's sex. Myth 10. Sleeping position. Preferring your left side. Myth says that's a boy thing. Truth, sleeping on your left side is generally recommended later in pregnancy for optimal blood flow but your preferred comfort position isn't a gender predictor. Ah, pregnancy cravings are fertile ground for myths. Myth 11, craving salty and savory, pickles, chips, steak, must be a boy. Truth, cravings are complex, potentially linked to hormones or nutritional needs, but no scientific link exists between specific cravings, salty, sweet, sour, and baby's gender. Myth 12, Craving protein and meat, similar to the salty myth. Truth, your body needs more protein during pregnancy, but the specific craving isn't tied to having a boy. Myth 13. Increased appetite. Eating for two or three more with a boy. Truth, appetite changes are normal in pregnancy, influenced by hormones and energy needs, not the baby's sex. 
Myth 14. No aversion to meat. If you don't suddenly hate the smell or taste of meat, it's a boy. Truth, food aversions are common and unpredictable, often linked to heightened senses and nausea, varying greatly between individuals and pregnancies. Let's round up a few more common beliefs. Myth. 15. Darker areolas. Truth. Hormones cause darkening of the areolas and sometimes the linea nigra in most pregnancies. Myth. 16. Dry hands. Truth. Skin changes, including dryness, are common due to hormones and increased washing. Myth 17. Urine color. Bright yellow urine for boys, dull for girls. Truth, urine color primarily reflects hydration levels and diet. Myth 18. Dad gains weight. 2. If the father-to-be packs on sympathy pounds, it's a boy. Truth, this is anecdotal and likely related to changes in lifestyle or eating habits, not the baby's gender. Myth 19. The ring test. Dangling a ring over your belly, circular motion for a boy, side to side for a girl. Truth, pure superstition with no scientific basis. Any movement is due to subconscious hand tremors. Myth 20. Chinese gender chart. An ancient chart claims to predict gender based on maternal age and month of conception. Truth, studies show its accuracy is roughly 50 50, the same as flipping a coin. Myth 21. Baby's activity level. More active baby equals boy. Truth. Fetal activity varies greatly and depends on the baby's individual temperament and position. Myth 22. Mum's mood. More aggressive or assertive mood equals boy. Truth. Mood swings are hormonal and situational, not gender linked. Myth 23. Leg hair growth. Faster, leg hair growth points to a boy. Truth, like head hair, pregnancy hormones can affect body hair growth all over. Myth, 24, which breast is bigger, right breast larger means boy. Truth, breast asymmetry is common and not related to baby's sex. Myth, 25, dreams, dreaming specifically of having a boy. Truth, dreams reflect subconscious thoughts, hopes and anxieties, not biological reality. So after busting 25 myths, what's the takeaway? While it's fun to guess and compare symptoms with friends, these old wives' tales are unreliable for predicting your baby's gender. They often contradict each other, and none have scientific backing. The only accurate ways to know if you're having a boy or a girl before birth are ultrasound. Usually performed around 18 to 20 weeks, a trained technician can often visually identify the baby's anatomy. Non-invasive prenatal testing, NIPT, a blood test done as early as 9 to 10 weeks that analyzes fetal DNA, including sex chromosomes. Invasive tests, CVS or amniocentesis. These are typically done for genetic screening, but also reveal the sex with certainty. Remember the most important thing is a healthy pregnancy and a healthy baby. Boy or girl, your little one will bring so much joy. What myths have you heard? Let me know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more evidence-based pregnancy info, and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.